Hey guys, it's Supreet and Rob. Hey. So it's September and it's back to school season. We figured that some of you might be considering applying to medical school this year. So we figured we'd do a quick top five tips for applying to medical school video. Hope you enjoy. Tip number one, make sure you take the prerequisite courses you need to get into medical school. Each med school has different courses that they require you to take before you can apply. So it's important that you do your research, figure out which courses you need to take and plan your undergraduate degree accordingly. It's also important to note that some universities have prerequisite marks that you have to achieve in those courses. So double check it to make sure what mark you need to get in those courses and work hard to get that mark. All right, so tip number two is you're gonna to need to have some reference letters when you make your med school application, but it's a good idea to plan ahead early and start building some relationships with potential referees. So that might mean, you know, volunteering in labs, going to office hours, speaking up in class, whatever you can think of, but it's important to have referees that know you and are able to give you strong and positive letters for your application. Tip number three, get involved outside the classroom. Med schools want really well-rounded students, so this means you need to have good marks, but it's also equally important to be involved outside the classroom, from anything from sports, being involved in the arts, um, you know, volunteer work, just getting really involved in your, in your community. It's important to have a strong application full of extracurricular activities that show what a well-rounded person you are. And it's important to do those activities early on. I mean, if you just all of a sudden in your fourth year of undergrad have all these volunteer activities, but you weren't doing anything before, it looks kind of suspicious. So you want to build up a track record and a history of, you know, volunteering or playing on sports teams or music, whatever you can think of. But make sure you start early and stick with it because they want to see commitment. Absolutely. And it's also important that when you're doing all these extracurricular activities, you keep a record of all of them, along with how many hours you spent doing each activity and, a, uh, and contact information for a person that they could use as a reference to confirm you did that activity. Trust us, you will thank yourself when you fill out the application if you have all that information saved on a sheet already. Alright, tip number four, get in the know. So one useful piece of advice is to start reading the news, stay up to date on current events, read medical blogs, kind of maybe do some research on controversial topics in medicine. You never know when that stuff's going to come up during your interview and it can make you sound really smart when it does. Just as a personal example, during my interview I was able to bring up stuff that I learned on a medical podcast and it was just sort of an aside thing in the interview but um, it came off really well and I think it was well received and I got into that school so it worked. Tip number five, find like-minded people to hang out with so you can find inspiration. There's a lot of hoops to jump through when you apply to medical school. It feels like there's a million applications, lots of volunteering to do. So it's nice to hang out with a group of people and surround yourself with people who are inspiring because they're on the same track. It can be really motivating to see your friends doing things and encourage you to do the same. And it's just nice to have a friend who's going through the same process. Just be wary though, sometimes when you hang out with people who are really motivated and have the same goals as you, it can be really stressful because you start to compare yourself to them. It's important to draw motivation and inspiration from them, but don't compare yourself to your colleagues. Just focus on what you're doing and you'll get there. Bonus tip, visualization. So one thing I found useful, especially coming from a sports background, was to really visualize everything about the process of applying to and getting into medical school. So, you know, I would visualize everything like what it would feel like opening that letter or that email with my acceptance letter, you know, what I would tell my family and friends, what my Facebook status would be, all that kind of stuff. And just day in and day out, just visualizing yourself accomplishing that goal. Um, you know, there's a lot of power, power to be said for positive thinking and, and visualization. All the elite athletes do it. I definitely second that. I did the same thing. I would go to school every day, look at the med school and imagine myself walking in and being like, one day that's going to be me. And that kind of positive thinking can keep you going when you're really tired and it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you're studying for a midterm. It's important to visualize yourself in that goal. So there you guys have it, our top five tips for applying to medical school. We hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as usual, if you guys have any comments or questions or you know ideas for videos that you guys want to see, just leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for lots more vlogs.